How to cure diabetic foot ulcers in natural method. Diabetic foot ulcer patients with diabetes in is commonly located on the bottom of the foot. Of those who develop a foot ulcer, they will be hospitalized due to infection or other ulcer related complication. It is really a tough condition for a human to always have incurable wound infections in their body. This affects them physically and also psychologically. My real life experience I share my personal experience in handling that tough condition my patients is having diabetic condition over 28 years. My patients lost his right leg toe entirely in the successive three surgeries in an approximate time period of 10 years. Nearly 40% of his right foot got removed. But still the ulcer is formed by itself. The blood glucose level is also normal for him. He takes insulin twice a day. But the ulcer forms and remains in his foot. Again we consulted with doctor. But the doctors told that the foot ulcer remains permanent. We have to keep it under control. Doctors suggested the following control measures. Do routine cleaning of the wound properly, remove unwanted dead skins and apply medicine. But it is not possible for the entire life. My patients affected both mentally and physically due to this condition. He cannot visit any friends and relatives home. If he removed footwear the bleeding may come out of the bandage. So mostly he cannot enter into others home. He managed to stay outside the door itself. Nowadays he avoid visiting others home. It is really a tough situation in day to day life. My patient is having this condition nearly for the past four years. Like my patients many people all over the world who are diabetic is living with this tough condition. Natural medicine to control and cure diabetic foot ulcer I tried many medicines and ointments in allopathic medicine. Sometimes when the foot ulcer shows infection symptoms he took antibiotic tablets. But those Tablets create vomiting situation after two day of doses. So I decided to try the herbal medicines to control the situation. I tried with many herbal combinations after consulting with naturopathy, doctors and internet references. All those trials are not helping my patient to heal out from the foot ulcer. From all those trials, I made an herbal combination by myself that really gives a great Improvement in healing the foot ulcer. The herbal combination is coconut oil and avarum poo plant. Senna auriculata. Coconut oil use only cold pressed virgin coconut oil to make this herbal. Medicine. Do not use refined packed coconut oils. Coconut oil is giving many benefits to our body. We can apply this to our hair, skin and also we use it for cooking. Major benefits of coconut oil. To our skin it hydrates our skin. It reduces redness of skin. It reduces the fine lines in wrinkles on skin. It promotes wound healing due to its high concentration of monolaurin, a fatty acid renowned for its antimicrobial effects. It reduces the risk of infection in healing wounds. Avarum poo plant, Senna auriculata. The name of this plant in Tamil language is Avarum poo plant. The botanical name is Senna auriculata. The common English name is Tanner's cassia. The flower, leaves, stem, root, and unripe fruit are used for treatment. People use cassia flowers for diabetes, eye infections, conjunctivitis, joint and muscle pain, rheumatism, constipation, jaundice, liver disease, and urinary tract disorders. This tanner's cassia is having great antimicrobial activity. It fights against fungal and microbial infections. So it helps in healing any kind of infections for diabetic and also for non-diabetic persons. How to prepare medicine for diabetic foot ulcer? Pick fresh avarum poo plant and wash it to clean from insects and dirt. Use its leaves, soft stems. 
You can add its flowers and unripe fruits also. Put it in a mixer jar. Add little water and grind it to paste form. Do not add too much water. The quantity is 50 to 100 grams of leaf per dressing or depends on wound size. Now to prepare medicine put a vessel on stove and pour equal quantity of cold pressed virgin coconut oil in vessel. It is important to maintain the low flame in stove until the entire process is completed. When the oil gets heated enough, transfer all the paste from mixer jar to the heated coconut oil. The water starts to evaporate as bubbles and foams on the top. Now all water content got evaporated and finally the combination forms as a thick paste, like ointment. The medicine is ready. Put off the stove and cool the medicine. How to use it? Apply the medicine when it is cooled completely. Do not apply when it is hot. It will burn the skin. Clean the wound using saline water and wipe it entirely. Apply the cooled medicine. On foot ulcer and make dressing using clean cotton cloth. Change the wound dressing after every two days. It is not advisable to prepare more medicine and store it for few days. It will lose its medicinal properties. Prepare the fresh combination before each dressing. I am applying this medicine to my patient foot ulcer nearly for the past three months. Really the foot ulcer is healing. Well. Finally I found the way to cure the diabetic foot ulcer.